What's up everyone, welcome back. Patrick here, moving on to the next question. We have to describe the transformations from the parent function two to the power of x to this function over here, g of x equals four minus one over four to the power of x minus five all over three. Now this question here, it's fairly tough. There's a lot going on here. It's probably one of the more tougher transformation questions that you can get. A student sent it to me and I wanted to make a video on it. So we have to go from here to here. So in order to get the transformations, we need the transformation values. And what we need to do is we need to take this function, the transform function, and make it in terms or put it in the format of a transformed exponential function like that. And in this case, actually, we're given the parent function two to the power of x, we're given the base. So we need to take this and basically convert it to this over here. And then we can get the a value, the k value, the d value, the c value, and then describe the transformation. So the question is, how do we take this and put it in this format? Well, first off, notice that the exponential term in this case is actually in the denominator. And we would want to bring that up. And another thing is notice that the base is four, but we need it to be a base of two. So what I'm first going to do, my first step, is I'm going to change that four to be two to the power of two. And then we'll have the exponent x minus five all over three. And then notice that these two exponents we could just multiply, right? Because if we have, just to review some exponent laws, if we have b to the x to the power of y, that's just equal to b to the power of xy, right? We multiply these two. So doing that, to get the two by itself, we can just multiply the two and the x minus five times three, which would be like two bracket x minus five all over three like that. Or another way you could put the two in the numerator, so different ways to write this. So we can write it like this. Another way we can write this is two bracket x minus five all over three, like that. Both of those are the same thing. And actually, you know what? I'm gonna write it in this format. So we'll have two bracket x minus five all over three, right? And so we're slowly making our way to this format here. Now, what we want to do is we want to take this and bring it up. And so what we would have to do in order to bring it up is we would have to change the sign of the exponent, right? Because just in general, let's say we have something like one over b to the x. Well, that's the same as b to the negative x. If we bring this b to the x up, we have to change the sign of the exponent. So if we take this, bring it up, we would have to add a negative in front of this exponent. So continuing this on, we can write this as four minus two to the power of negative two x minus five all over three. So that negative we could put in the numerator or denominator, but it's just more common, a nicer format to put it in the numerator. All right, so, so far we have this, we're getting closer and closer to that format. This and this are the exact same thing. Now, notice how usually the C value is on the end, and notice that we have this four over here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this four and I'm gonna put it on this side, just to make it look more like that. Now, this is a positive four. You gotta be careful here. So when you bring it here, we're not bringing it over an equal sign. We're just switching the order. It's gonna be plus four over here, but then this negative would stay 
in front of the two. That's another tricky part you gotta be careful with. So rewriting this, we would have g of x equals negative and then two to the power of negative two x minus five all over three and then we'll have a plus four like that. Right, so now it's really looking like this and to finally make it look like that, notice how there's a negative in front, but it's not a negative two, right? You gotta be careful with exponents. There's no bracket here. If the bracket was there, then it would be negative two to the power of this. But if you remember, if you have something like negative two to the power of two, for example, you work with the exponent first. So that would be negative times four, it's like a negative one in front, which would be negative four, versus if you had negative two in brackets to the power of two, that would just be positive four. Same sort of thing is going on over here. So you gotta be careful. So this negative, it's not attached to the two, it's sort of separated. So it's almost like negative one, two to the power of that. Now here, what I'm gonna do is to take this and put it in this kind of format, notice that we could take out the negative two over three as the K value. And write it like that. Right, this and this are the exact same thing. And now notice that this exponent is in a closer format to this over here. And at this point, we basically have g of x in that format that we wanted, right? So this and this are the exact same thing. We just took this and had to rearrange it algebraically in order to get into that format, but now we can get the transformation values. So notice how the a value is negative one, the k value is negative two over three. The D value is positive five. Remember with transformations, it's always gonna be the opposite sign. So we have X minus five. So the D value would be positive five. And then the C value would be positive four. And then from here, having the transformation values on the function, on the parent function, two to the power of x, we can now describe the transformation. So an a value of negative one, notice there's no vertical stretch or compression because it's a one here, but because it's negative, there's a reflection in the x-axis. The k value of negative two over three, two things here, because it's negative, there's a reflection in the y-axis. And also there's a horizontal stretch by a factor of three over two. Remember with the k value, we have to flip it, right? So there's a horizontal stretch by three over two. A d value of positive five means there is a translation or a shift uh, five units to the right. And then a c value of positive four means there's a translation or a shift four units And those are all the transformations, right? That we apply to this parent function, two to the power of x, in order to get to this function, right? So fairly tricky. The transformation values part, like listing out the transformations, we've done tons of questions like that. So that's not tricky. What's tricky is getting this into that format in order to get the transformation values. But once you get to here, Listing out the transformations is not too bad.